But first, breaking news at noon, a mother arrested in the death of her 14-month-old son. Thank you for joining us this noon. I'm Bridget Ellison. And I'm Justin Mormuth. And we have been asking police questions about this story since we first reported the toddler's death last week. Melbourne police say the mom went to this fire station for help on April 4th when she noticed her son was in medical distress. Police now confirm the little boy was left in the car for several hours and died from heat stroke two days later. News 6's James Barvero has been following every development since the story broke. He joins us now live from the Melbourne Police Department. So, James, you learned what happened before police say she took the child to the fire station for help. The breaking details from Melbourne Police, Justin, in this tragic story of child neglect, they include drugs and alcohol. They say that the 26-year-old mother, Emily Hartman, the night before she brought the, her baby to the fire station, that she was drinking at a Melbourne bar, and during that time she left... Richard, the one-year-old, 14 months old, in that car by himself, and she continued this pattern of neglect into the next morning when Melbourne police say she went to a Melbourne home and she left Richard inside the car by himself, strapped in his car seat without the car running, for five or six hours while she was inside a house smoking marijuana, and she was also picking up cocaine, which police say she intended to sell later that day. So that afternoon, Thursday the 4th, police say when she got back in the car and she started driving, that's when she noticed... Her one-month-old, her one-year-old son was in distress, and that's when the fire chief with Melbourne tells us she pulled over and she surprised firefighters running into that fire station with her son in her arms in distress. Police telling us that Richard had a temperature of 106 degrees. His chances of survival slim to none. And Melbourne firefighters told us that they did everything they could. They put the child on a workbench that they tried to revive him and that he was unconscious. He did have a pulse, but they could not revive him. Richard then taken to the ER at Holmes Regional Medical Center, still Thursday the 4th. And then by Saturday, when the 14-month-old was at a hospital in Orlando, that's when he was officially pronounced deceased. Melbourne police only told us this story about a week ago. And now a week later, it's been almost two weeks, 13 days, since they say Emily Hartman showed up at the fire station with her son. That we understand she's been arrested and charged with manslaughter of a child with child neglect. And she's also facing charges for the drugs related to this case. We're going to continue following the story. The suspect has a first appearance this afternoon at the Brevard County Jail. I also spoke with the suspect's mother this morning, an emotional mother, Justin Bridget, who told us this is not the Emily we raised. Live in Melbourne, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6. Thank you, James.